Well, it crashed my Phantom 4 Pro, or I should say it crashed itself. I was out filming a job, a mapping job, out on a, a shoreline restoration project, and I was about 30 feet off of a dock, um, up above the dock, flying, and uh, to do some manual photos after my mapping mission. And this bird was probably, again, about 30 feet up off the dock, and I was bringing it down a little bit lower to uh, reposition it, and all of a sudden, I got a disconnect, a warning on the, con on the controller, um, and it, the motor stopped, it flipped over, it just came straight down. Luckily, it landed on the dock not in, and not in the water. Um, but the camera sheared off, so, uh, and the props obviously went and all, all that, so what I'm doing is I figured I'm going to repair this myself. Well, I attempted to. We'll get back to the Phantom 4 repair later. So the next day I took the Pavo 30 Cinewoop out and was flying right around the house above the trees and could never figure out why but the bird dropped um, I don't know I may have inadvertently triggered a disarm by pressing the button but you'll see here the radio signal is fine and the video signal is fine and there she comes down she landed okay and everything was fine later on that evening I took the Pavo 30 sin whoop down to the local beach about a mile from the house and was flying about a quarter mile down the beach and I triggered a fail safe when I lost the video signal. You'll watch this video bit rate drop real quick. Bam, I lost signal and I triggered the fail safe. Watch how quickly this signal drops. This is quarter speed. Bam. And then we get into the repair of the Phantom 4 Pro, which was relatively easy wasn't too difficult to replace the gimbal or the camera or the shell. Just take your time and don't be in a hurry and take lots of pictures so you know which screws go in which holes. The bench testing went well. However, the flight testing did not, which you'll see here in just a moment. Give it a shot. Flip this around, make sure the gimbal moves. That'll be the first test. Oop, it moved. All right. Aircraft status says it's normal, ready to go. It has eight uh, satellites locked. 
We'll just double check our settings, our home now, return to home altitude. Our max flight altitude is set. Our advanced settings, we'll just double check these sensors. Gyroscope seems to be fine. Compass is fine. IMU is fine. Um, I know the gimbal works. I'm gonna have to change those settings on the new gimbal. A little more sensitivity. Anyways, let's uh, see if she pops up in the air. Oh, so something happened there. 